Hello YouTube. I'm back with another observation of of a quite an old phone. Right now we're talking about Motorola Razr V3i. Well, there are a lot of other YouTube videos about this phone, but this phone is not the stock version. This is a limited edition that can synchronize with Apple iTunes. So this is a iPhone predecessor, if you like, if you like to call it that. It, it has uh, micro SD storage. You can put one gigabyte or even more of um, mem micro SD memory card in it and then fill it up with iTunes music. I have to note, it will not support MP3, it only supports AAC. So, let me show you how it looks on the inside. So this is the phone. The main difference is, instead of a globe, it has a music iTunes music note on it. This is the launch button for the iTunes player. Let's turn the phone on. So this is how the interface looks like. I think many are familiar with old Motorola interface. By now, in 2016, it looks quite dated, but in, back in the day actually it wasn't also not exactly fresh, especially compared to Nokia of those days, but the main attraction is of course the iTunes functionality. So, excuse me for the glare. That's better. So the iTunes is launched. It has playlist, artists, albums, songs, and shuffle. So this one has two songs on it. I'm not going to play them because uh, the copyright police will grab my ass for that. So one of the songs is from Rammstein and the other one is from another German artist called Lena. So now I'm going to show you how exactly it works because this phone will not appear in the most recent version of iTunes which is right now 12 or 13, one of those two simply will not appear in those because this phone only works until iTunes 9.1 so we're gonna be using this old laptop that has that I have as a backup I am I am a Mac user but I'm using this laptop for small emergencies or running programs that were only that only supported by Windows. This is a 32-bit system, so not superior librarian, but it will do the job just great for the fun and the purpose. So I already have items fired up. And the iTunes version I'm using is iTunes 6. The reason I'm using iTunes 6 is because I already tried iTunes 
the most latest version of iTunes that supports Motorola phones with iTunes functionality. The problem I got, it synchronizes alright and everything, but the songs refuse to play after they have been put on the phone from iTunes. So I decided to give it a try and download the earlier version of iTunes, which is this one. And it works fine. Totally brilliant, actually. The, the songs work. Uh, the quality is good. Especially thanks to the good speaker that the phone has. So, let me show you how the synchronizing works. It's practically the same as an iPod, but with a bit more clicks. So, we're going to take a regular mini USB cable and plug it right in there. There we go. And it's going to give some warning notices, of course. Any minute now it will appear in this column. And there it is. Motorola Razor iTunes. It's actually showing. It has two songs on it. Here we go. Beat to my melody and Ich Will by Rammstein. As you can see here, used 20 megabytes and free 951. That's only the memory card. The phone memory is 10 megabyte, but it's not used by iTunes. It only record it only stores music on the memory card. So, how it works is quite simple. Let me delete one of the songs. And remove, yes. I practically go to my library. Hang on. To my library, and I'm grabbing the song and I'm dragging it to the iTunes and now it starts to update luckily it's, an, uh, it's a fast process if the songs are already in ACC if they're in MP3 and they need to be converted by the same iTunes it can take a while well it depends on what kind of computer you're using this one is uh, not exactly a speedy one so I'm guessing with a faster computer, the synchronization of MP3s that, can, that are converted to ACC and put on the phone is faster. So, mobile phone update is complete. So the songs are now on the phone. Let me just disconnect it. Actually, the best way is to press the eject button it's disappeared, now I can disconnect it Now I can press the iTunes key.
and this is how it looks. It actually shows the album art, so it's quite good. So you can rate it the same as on an old iPod. This is the full screen of album of album art. So that's the short overview of iTunes working on a Motorola phone. So in totally there were three phones that came out with iTunes on it. It's the Motorola Rocker, it's the Motorola Silver, one of the Silver models, and that's the Motorola Razor, this one, the V3 i and in case someone decides for nostalgic purposes to buy one of those phones and to wants to put music on them just know that you need to download an early version of iTunes to get the job done so 9.1 you're gonna have trouble and I speak from older experience before this one I did had the rocker so with uh, like the candy bar phone and the same thing I downloaded the most recent iTunes version 9.1 which said to me that it, it supported the phone and when I put numbers on it the numbers would just refuse to play so right now if you want to put no numbers on it download 6 maybe 7 maybe 8 I don't know if 7 or 8 have the same issues as 9 but uh, because I didn't try them I downloaded the earliest one that supported the phone but uh, yeah 6 works fine if you get one of those phones give it a try it still functions uh, pretty well to this day no slowbacks nothing it's just the phone itself the interface of the phone looks a bit dated I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry that it's a bit shaky is because I don't have a tripod at the moment thanks for watching until next time